Okay. So I'm gonna have this baby in my lap for as long as she wants to sit here. Hey y'all, I hope that you're having a good day today. And today, um, it is my 10 month post-op video. So, today is actually exactly 10 months ago today. I had the VSG surgery in Tijuana, Mexico with the Mexico Bariatric Center. I will have all my stats listed down below in the description box. Um, and I have something interesting that I've kind of figured out about myself over the past month since my last video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just roll right into that. Um, Basically, I have been stuck since like January with my weight loss. Like it hasn't really gone anywhere. It's been like kind of hovering between like three pounds. Um, and I just, I couldn't figure out why. Like I, I'm doing the program and you know, I'm doing everything right. Like, you know, I've been, I've been doing everything that I should be doing. You know what I mean? Um, but over the past month, I've kind of figured something out about myself. And this is really irritating <laughs> for me. Um, I have kind of figured out that I self-sabotage myself. Um, and what I mean by that is whenever I start seeing weight loss, or I start seeing any sort of progress in something that I'm doing, I fuck it up somehow. I, I don't know. I don't know why, but I do this. I mean, this it's not just with you know, eating healthy or dieting or exercising or something like that. If I'm, you know, doing my skincare routine and, you know, my skin looks great, I have the zero breakouts, you know, everything's going really good, I will unintentionally slack off for like a day or two on my skincare routine and then I'll break out again. You know, I could be doing 10 loads of laundry and on like, my last two loads, I just don't want to fold them, and I'll just put them in a pile. Um, what else? Like, I don't know, just, just weird stuff like that. Like, if I'm, I'm taking my vitamins every day like I should, and then I'm just like, you know, I just forget or something, and I just don't take it for two months. You know, it's, I don't know why I do this, and I, I think that might have been happening with my weight loss. Like, you know, because for the first six months whenever you have the surgery, the weight basically just falls off of you. You know, that's how it was for me. That's how it is for a lot of people. Everyone is different. But at a certain point, you know, I, I don't know. I guess I'm just like, oh, it's working. You know, my, my, my surgery is doing its thing. And I don't know if I got complacent or what. But I think I was kind of self-sabotaging myself. You know, I would lose a few pounds. I'm like, great. And then I would eat like, you know, a half a sandwich with, you know, white bread on it and, you know, a couple chips. You know, that's it's not in my diet anymore. I don't do that anymore. So I realized that about myself, that once I would start losing a few pounds, I would just kind of mess it up unintentionally obviously I don't want to mess it up but I was and it was really annoying like I was mad at myself about it because that's it's so frustrating like why am I doing that to myself but since I have noticed that I catch myself I catch myself whenever I start slipping up or if I'm like oh well you know I'll just have you know, a, a little bit of this or a little bit of that, and you know, it's not a big deal, but it is a big deal, especially now that the weight isn't just falling right off of me. It is a big deal. Like at this point in my weight loss journey is whenever I really need to be strapping down, make sure that I'm doing everything correctly, following my diet. You know what I mean? So like I said, now that I've noticed that I do this, I've caught myself and I have lost the weight that I had gained. So, um, I shouldn't say gained, but the weight that I was, you know, trickling between, I was stuck at 212 forever. Like, I've been stuck at 212 basically since January. 
Um, but over this past month, since I've noticed that, I've gotten down to 208 and it has stayed there. You know, I might, I'll go between 208 and 209, you know, just over a few ounces, pretty much. But since I've noticed, you know, I keep saying this, but since I've noticed that I do that to myself, the weight has stayed off this time and I'm getting better. So I guess this month's little update is I'm sabotaging myself. I don't know. I'm sabotaging myself and I'm putting my foot down because I want to stop. I want to stop doing that in every aspect of my life. You know, whether it's my skincare routine, taking vitamins, my weight loss, going to the gym, which I just, I'm tired of, you know what I mean? So, now my husband's staring at me while I'm talking to you. So I don't have too much to update on other than I kind of figured that out about myself. And I have lost that weight and it has stayed off. So now that I know this, I'm going to keep pushing, keep moving forward, you know, get in my protein, get in my water, keep going to the gym and just try to make this program work back for me. Because I know it's still working. I still get full after, you know, however much that I eat, which I should probably like pay a little bit closer attention. I'm not eating a lot of food by any means. I don't eat a lot, but I couldn't tell you right now how much I eat. And at this point I'm rambling. So this is a very short, sweet, to the point video, but just know if you're not seeing any progress in yourself, kind of reevaluate. What are you doing? You know, do you notice success and then a, a failure for some reason? Just try to figure it out that way that you can stop it. So I hope that that helped. I hope that this update was the least bit interesting for you. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Turn up. Let's go. Let's go.